Hi guys, Gail here. We have left Mauritius, East Africa, and have traveled over 2,200 miles to our next destination, Port Elizabeth, South Africa. Good morning from Port Elizabeth, South Africa. We were actually supposed to stop a couple days ago in Port Richards, but the weather has been a little choppy and they weren't able to dock. Can't wait to check it out. We're doing a safari. I'm so glad you're here. Let's check it out. It's gonna be a great day in South Africa. Am I right? Hi guys. Welcome to Port Elizabeth. Shout out to you. Woo Thanks, Caesar. Thank you, pleasure. So we drove about an hour and a half from the cruise ship to the Saboya Safari Reserve. These are the Jeeps we'll be using. And I've never done a safari, so I'm super excited. So glad you're coming along. And even if I didn't see one animal all day today, just checking out this unbelievable landscape worth it all. So this particular reserve has 16,000 acres on it. And it was just great getting out and being a part of this whole experience. So these are young male of Nyalas here. So you see then the females behind it and then the male impala behind them. So these Nyalas were everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So nice, it's one of the ibises and in South Africa the most hated bird. Oh, they have a knack for waking up at 4.30 in the morning oh. and they start calling. Oh. And the name Hardy Da comes from the call. Hardy Da! Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you see, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so again, I want to give you a little bit of sensory experience. So it had just rained. So the air smelled like fresh rain and soil. And then you see all these animals and this view. What a day. So we're driving up and right around the corner, we see this guy. And I had no idea how much I loved them until I saw her in this moment. Fun fact, the back of her legs bends backwards. Her kneecaps are on the backs of her legs. Just a little tidbit for you. And you would think that as tall as they are, they'd be so easy to spot. Not so much. Hello. Guys, I am not kidding. Everywhere you turned, there was something else to see. Check out these warthogs. And wildebeest. They were not even faced at all. They would just take a look at us and walk away. How cool is it to be this close to these animals? Our guides said they know we're no threat, so they don't care if we're there. And for my reptile lovers, we saw this little guy. So when you're on a safari, you're looking for the big five. And they are your lions, leopards, elephants, buffalo, and rhino. So imagine how happy we were when we saw these two guys just hanging out. The horns have been filed down to discourage poachers from coming to take them. A lot of times these rhinos get injured while maybe even killed while these poachers are trying to take their horns. And there's our buddies, the Nala again. So this gives you an example of how close we were to these animals. The little terrorists. Terrorists? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they are terrorists. They'll rob you of everything, including your dignity. What would a safari be without at least a little sighting of a monkey? What makes a safari so cool is you never really know what you're gonna see. Uh, we were really happy we got a chance to see the zebras. <laughs> that is the constant discussion if they're black with white stripes or white with black stripes. Technically, the skin color is black. So they're black with white stripes. So have you ever wondered, black with white stripes? It's always fun when you see one of the big five out in the wild 
amazing. Name, his name is uh, Cheeky Boy. <laughs> Cheeky um, Boy. I've got a bit of a history with him. <laughs> um, this is a new hat. He stole the last one. Oh, oh really? Nice. <laughs> really? So Jeff and Megan were at the Scotia Safari Private Game Reserve and they saw these guys, which we did not get to see. I guess the lion really does sleep tonight. That was fun. It's a great day in Port Elizabeth, am I right? 